I mean, there's a lot of uh, superlatives that you can you can tie to this move for us. But I think the the opportunity um, to compete at a really high level um, in a in a, uh, a conference that has nationwide notoriety um, is an incredible um, you know, a privilege you know, for me to coach in, but for our university and then for our student athletes across all sports to take part in is it's unique. And we want to we're going to play a really um, you know pretty up tempo style uh, offensively um, in terms of our pace, um, and then uh, we play. You know, like many teams in the Valley, tough physical man-to-man -man defense uh, on a night-to-night -night basis and, you know, want to be known for our ability to uh, take away the three-point line and, um, and be really disciplined uh, in our ability to finish off possessions at the rebound and, and not foul. Um, so I think um, from a playing style standpoint, we want to, you know, have a lot of interchangeable parts um, offensively and defensively. We, we've really... Um, you know, from a roster standpoint, really tried to, you know, roster management's one of the, it's, it's everything in today's game. Um, and it's, it's easy to plan sometimes, but harder to execute. Uh, but for us, like Jace Carter is, has been a rock um, for us and Philip Scobalge, uh, both those two guys have uh, spent uh, a lot of minutes on the floor as freshmen. And uh, we're relying on them. You know, we talked about it in recruiting with them as being kind of the, the foundation of, of where we're going with the program as we continue to build. And, uh, you know, Jace, uh, minus the nine games that he missed with um, a knee injury last year, really was, um, was a really consistent force on both ends of the floor. And um, just really incredibly hard worker and a great kid. Um, and a really has developed his leadership skills. And Philip. Uh, is a uh, sophomore from Serbia, and uh, you know he took a leap of faith. Uh, it was Zoom recruiting, um, and took a leap of faith. Really worked hard on building a relationship with he and his family. And first time he came to the states is when I picked him up at O'Hare Airport. And uh, he is just a he loves basketball and wants to be a you know he wants to be a European pro someday, and he works like it. Um, so those two guys, although they're sophomores, um, you know we've. We've told them that you guys are, are taking the next step as far as leadership. So we've done, um, they've done really well at adjusting to that all summer long. So 